So in addition to testing out a wide variety of allergy medicines, I'm now knee deep in some experimentation with different cold medicines because I, yes, indeed have both allergies and a cold and now this weird voice. So it's definitely me, Jason, still doing gold videos, but you're going to have to bear with me here. So yesterday, we were looking at the beginnings of a 15 minute EQ pattern. So we had our low 1312, 1318, 1313, 1317, tightening ranges, but we didn't get that nice low. We didn't see a low that would match the aggression of the trend of this previous slope. So we would have been more inclined to see something down here at 1314. We didn't get that. We got this low at 1315.182. We started to pull up a little bit. So we didn't get a violent break of this equilibrium. And when that doesn't happen and you don't see the lows you're expecting, you got to sort of step back and say, all right, well, maybe it's not an EQ. Maybe I got to treat it a little bit differently. And it starts to look a little bit like a witch. So we get our nice shapes forming up here. I'm going to address this guy a little bit. And it starts to get that wedge shape. So when you look historically and even just back a little bit, you see that, yeah, you're wrong about your equilibrium. But everything else is sort of lining up. We got the basis of our 1312 as a support that matches this trend line. Uh, we ignore this little um, a retrace from the original drop. And then we see that trend start to tighten up. We get tighter, 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 eventually breaking. And we come back down, coming back up to retest that trend line. And then dump city. So reassess you're looking at when the pattern or breakout or whatever you're trading doesn't go the way that you thought it would go. It probably means you've assessed something wrong and you need to step back and take another perspective at it. So I looked at that and I said, all right, ascending wedge. We're not going to get that big bull break that we should have seen on the follow through of an EQ because the EQ setup wasn't quite right. So quick lesson on re-examining your perspectives there. So then we see 15 minutes, choppy, choppy, choppy. What's going on? We don't really know, but we do know that we have a four hour and an hourly trend. Let's look at it on the hourly time frame. So here we are on our hourly time frame. Let's zoom out a little bit, try to make this fit nicely. So here's our ascending wedge. Here is our little bit of our overthrow, bounce back, retest of that trend line 1319, former support acting as resistance, or in this case, reconfirming resistance. And then we get a big dump down to where our four hour trend line. So here we are, four hour trend line, tightening ranges. Ultimately, our tightening ranges drop. We see a big drop here to we have our low of 1308.23. And then we're starting to pull back right now. So I want to point out that these yellow lines are arbitrary uh, trend lines, just showing you that the range is contained somehow in this channel. What I've added here on the bottom are the zones of support and resistance. So what you do to gather these uh, little beauties is you look to see where your lowest wicks are on each of the drops and you try to look at the range between those. So in this case, I said this guy is my, um, I guess my least amount of drop below the trend line and this one has dropped the most. So what I do is I pick those two extremes that have supported that trend and that channel to stay in place and then I go back and I draw this in and I get this nice parallel line that shows me this zone of resistance. You do the same thing up on support. In fact, why don't we go do that right now? Um, where are we here? Parallel channel. So let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, I'll grab this guy. And then I want to draw that parallel channel. Not perfect, but nice and tight. And then I say, all right, so who is the most respectful gentleman candle that is going to help us out. So really that's it. So we can go and draw this in all the way down to our trend line support. And we know that we have gone as far out of this uh, zone of resistance and pulled back successfully one, two, three times now. So we can expect that sort of behavior to happen again. We know we start to see resistance at this level, but we can go all the way up to the extreme level before we have to start worrying about uh, in the bull case, uh, an overthrow, and in the uh, bear case here, a loss of the extreme would show that's, that the trend is going to change. So we came very close to that level, and that would have been my entry level for a trend change. Um, but we didn't break it. We didn't get that extreme push beyond that level. And instead, now we are bouncing a little bit. If we go to the five-minute time frame, we'll look for our lows. 
Here we are, 1308, currently coming back up and testing this area of resistance. So 1303, 1309, we get multiple confirmations. We know that this has historically acted as a resistance and support. So now it's testing as a five minute resistance. If we get through that and things are looking good, we can probably see a nice slow creep back up and let this four hour trend continue. If we lose that extreme range and we see some volume and volatility coming in, we know that this longer term trend, and it is a long term in the sense of a four hour uh, channel, uh, that the longer a trend goes and the longer it's in play, the more substantial the break is. So if we lose this four hour trend, we see that extreme push. We lose this four hour um, higher low, which is at 1303. Our next four hour support, 1298. And we just sort of start knocking these out. And again, I don't think that getting to 1280 on a very substantial bear break of this upside trend is not is out of the question. It's the most major support on the four hour time frame. So a lot of things have to come into play for that to work. Um, in summary, nice four hour trend here. Everything looks good for just a normal swing back up here to resistance. If we lose the extreme range and we see bear volume piling in, we're gonna knock out 1303. And don't be afraid, <laughs> don't be afraid, don't be afraid if uh, we see a drop all the way to 1280. That's it. I'm gonna go find more medicine.